We have three new EX drops coming out this week, Surges, Fina, and Engelbert, and the latter two are actually seeing play in JP. So, light players, there is some value here, especially with King Jaden coming out in the near future. Before we start the video, I just want to thank one of my new patrons, Jesse S. Thank you so much for your support. If you are interested in my Patreon, you can go check that out in the description below. Uh, I post articles pretty much every single week and you can chat with me on there as well. So it's kind of cool. Definitely worth checking out. Let's take a look at Surge's first and he is supposed to become kind of a bruiser, tanky attacker, but I don't really see it. His HP is, is high for kind of where he's at in terms of rarity, but it's not high for like a tank. It's not high for, you know, a bruiser. So that's not great. His attack also isn't high. He only has eight defense and while his agility is, is okay there, the rest of his stats, I mean, the, the resistances are non-existent or they're really bad. He does have that key 40% toad resist though, so that's something. Sharp Spear is going to be a mini Sentinel, but for three turns, and that's certainly a very powerful effect to get 20 defense, 20 spirit added on, but it's not going to really do enough for him. And then the secret of flying, it's, it's the Pierce Mastery, is also going to give 100% defense debuff resistance, which again, very powerful effect. Not really going to help him out that much anyway, though. And then Leap Flight is his new ability. I put that in the wrong order. Sorry about that. Uh, and that is going to, it's a pretty cool jumping attack. It's got a high potency. It has the chance to inflict slow, and then it also gives him regen, so 10% health restored every turn. It's it's a powerful effect, again, for someone that is planning on, you know, fighting at the front lines and not dying in one hit, uh, but just the, the whole kit isn't there. He is going to be an excellent choice for selection quest uh, or MR or less content, but even for something like a limited uh, content where you want to use him with URs, I don't think he's good enough, so he's not someone to rush you can buy all of his shards in the shop you know with your um your sr tokens or whatever in the mog shop so don't worry about that it's easy enough to to build them up uh it's just the only limiting factor really is elemental resources the blossoms um so just you know if wait till the chance where you actually need them maybe for selection quests Otherwise, don't touch him. Now, Fina is very, very interesting. She gets some pretty awesome buffs, and we'll take a look at all of those right now. First off, her magic is going to get a pretty big buff. It's going all the way up to 479. This is good for some URs, not just an MR. Like, this is fantastic. Her agility has always been one of her strong suits at 64, and again, that's really big. Her resists are obviously not very good. She's not meant to take very many hits, and that's okay, she's allowed to have a weakness, but look at these skills. So Kuraga, uh, instead of just being a cross-shaped AoE, is gonna become a massive AoE. It's gonna have huge range. It's also going to dispel charm, slow, stop, and doom for allies. So the biggest thing here really is the fact that the range is going to be so big. Uh, it means that she can stay back and shoot at people, but then still rock a Kuraga whenever necessary. And then she gets Sacred Shooter, which is going to give her some more healing power. So not only is this Kiraga going to be longer range, it's going to be healing for more and she's going to heal herself for more as well. So that's really solid. They stuck it on one of her best passives there with magic up in the range as well. And then we have Sparkle Shower, which is just looks like a regular regular attack, right? You know, it's got some range. It's got the cross-shaped AOE. It decreases accuracy by 43 for, for three turns. But here's the key part of this. This is a magic scaling shot. So this does not use the attack stat, this uses the magic stat. And it means that she's gonna be doing a lot of damage with this, if, especially if she hits uh, you know, dark units, units that are weak to missile. There's lots of videos of JP Arena where she's hitting a Helena for like, six to seven K damage, uh, you know, if, if the barrier's off or whatever it is. So like there's, there's a lot of potential here. And then it also enables you, uh, even more to be running things like light evade because she's reducing accuracy. She's hopefully staying, you know, far enough back that she's not just dying to some damage. Uh, and this enables her to be 
a healer, damage dealer, uh, and then again a buffer because she still has things like cheer that gives protect and shell. Like there's there's a lot of really great things on her kit, and this is one of the better MR upgrades that we've seen. I've seen a few people have some pretty bad takes on Reddit about Engelbert and his EX, and honestly, they're just missing out. So at 5,805 HP, it's a huge amount. We're going to be seeing Engelberts with 11k, 12k HP in arena and guild battle, and they're going to be getting it from you know Solidus Light VC giving the 25% HP. Uh, things like just running a light party that you know you get all that. 10% light HP up here, there, whatever. He's just going to be really tanky with the HP and people point to his magic weakness or his dark weakness and you can't get tunnel visioned in just on one part of being a tank. HP is super important too. It's going to make a big difference and the fact that he gets a certain upgrade, which we'll talk about in a sec, is going to make all the more difference as well. Now, the one disappointing thing about his kit is that he didn't get any more agility. He's still at 54 agility. That's literally no increase, so that is a bummer, but otherwise, she's looking pretty good. So, Paladin's Blessing here, Paladin's Life Protection, the upgrade. This one seems disappointing, but healing power is really, really powerful. So healing power will mean that you get healed for more by other people, but it also means that you are going to heal yourself more if you use anything that heals yourself. So obviously with that, we're going to see that she, he gets an ability that heals himself. Then Immortal Spirit is going to have two chances, or sorry, two activations. And this is really good. So uh, it it also has a hate effect, so now he can provide hate for himself at the beginning of a battle. Also incredibly key, but having two immortal spirits is a really big deal, and I'm going to tell you why. So first of all, in guild battle, it's a game changer. The fact that you can go into a second battle and have guts again, and then have Engelbert, you know, tank again and, and divert the, the uh, enemy's attention, that's going to be really, really key for getting six stars and sustaining or for getting multiple defense. Now also imagine Engelbert survives the fight with very low HP in the second fight Fina is going to heal him up or Ayaka or uh, Yuna or whoever is going to heal him up and he's going to heal all the way up to 12k all the way up to 11k because he gets so much healing from his own healing power up and then you know Ayaka, uh, Yuna, uh, Fina they all get healing power up too and that is just going to mean that Engelbert's going to heal up really quickly in PvP. Even in Arena, where you don't have that second match, if he survives with Guts and gets healed, there's a chance for him to go up to a pretty high amount of HP again and then be able to take multiple hits again. So this is a really key ability, uh, and I'm, I'm super psyched to see something like this on him. Okay, then we have Revenge Drain. So this is a 50% defense penetration move. It has 175% potency. It is non-type damage, so it does not factor in any resist besides light resist. And it's going to increase damage as his HP decreases. So if he's really low, it's going to deal even more damage and it absorbs 50% of the damage done. Uh, and that also scales, it gets higher because he has the 20 healing power as well. So what does this mean? It means that he's going to have an attack that he can use to finish off units if they're low and they're attacking them. It means that he's going to be able to heal himself. And if you're wondering how much he's going to heal himself, I watched some Japanese uh, PvP videos and he was healing, you know, on average, I would say like 1000 to 1200 HP each time. And that's actually not that bad. That's pretty good. So um, definitely a very cool ability. Uh, even if it's not this, this on paper doesn't look as good as you want it to he's going to see play. He's seeing a lot of play in light teams and he's even seen play just in other teams to be a tie up type unit that has a lot of hate generation. And don't forget his resists are really good aside from magic. His defense is really high and he has sentinel like that's the thing that you know king mont doesn't have he doesn't have a, a skill that gives him 45 defense and 45 spirit like that's a really big buff so do not underrate uh engelbert he's gonna be really good and again he's one of these units that you don't have to break the bank for you might already have him at 99 maybe you just need to spend some mog metals on him and some blossoms and then you're gonna have a really great tank at level 120 uh and that's pretty awesome. I'm going to recommend that with all three of these units, you take them to 120 if you decide to build them because their 120 skills are just super impactful and I think they're really important for their kit. So uh, definitely with Engelbert also, you want the stats specifically. You just want every single bit of HP that you can get. So 
definitely go to 120. That's going to be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos and liking this video so it gets promoted by the algorithm, which would help me out quite a bit. Otherwise, I'm going to see you in the next video or maybe on the Mysidia Gaming Discord, the link for which is in the description for this video.